Do you think you're gonna beat the Yankees? Uh, we better. If not, in we're in deep dreams. trouble. In, in, in my dreams. I remember thinking, okay, check yourself here. God's nervous. I get nervous all the time, but this was a little, I was like, hey man, slow down, take a deep breath. You know, um, it was intense. And this is a nightmare for the Red Sox and their fans. Before you can even take a deep breath, you're down 3-0. It's like, wow, you know, that that's that's quick. The Yankees have pounded their way. Three games to none lead in this ALCS. How do you come back from this? Being embarrassed on your home diamond. If Tito doesn't do what he did after game three in his press conference, I. It changed everything about me, and I think it changed the way the clubhouse was thinking. I won't bail on those guys. We're, we'll show up tomorrow and play. It was disappointing for everybody, but we're not done. And uh, I fully expect we'll come out tomorrow and play our ass off. Thank you, Terry. Thanks for coming okay, up. Classic Tito, no panic. And it, it, and it was really, it was that simple. I do remember thinking, I, I don't know if we can win, but I know what will make us lose. And that's by like making changes. And you know we had to stay true to who we were. And, and we did. And it's hard because there's a lot of noise that goes on. Dan Shaughnessy was calling us, you know, the biggest bunch of frauds ever to, to occupy Fenway Park. All I'm saying, it's all I'm saying. Man. What's embarrassing? You guys are better than this. Well, I mean, you know, it happens. You Baseball. Be this. It was more of a different mentality instead of that poor me, we're down three games now. Don't let us win tonight. But let me tell you, don't let us win today. He was saying that to everybody. You know, he, he, he said it to me, it's all on video. This is it. Don't let the Sox win this game. I think that we cared about Tito. We knew he cared about us, and that we knew no matter what we did in our careers, we'd never be in this place again. And I don't, I, I don't think that moment was lost on us. Still, the Sox would head into the bottom of the ninth of game four, three outs from elimination against the game's best closer. But then, Kevin Millar worked out a walk, and Tito saw an opportunity. Kevin gets a walk, and he looks down at the end of the dugout and summons me out there. A pinch runner, Dave Roberts, is going to come in from Boston. And I just winked at him. And that was my way of saying, go ahead, big boy. Go get him. Roberts is going. Posada's throw. Roberts, safe. I'll tell you this, the bunt sign was on. We ended up taking the bunt sign off. As a manager, and I'm in that chair now, you know, there's a, a playing it safe and bunny a guy over to then, you know, put the fate of your ball club in a player's hands to steal a base. And I'll never forget him entrusting me in that spot. The aggressiveness paid off. Roberts would score to tie the game. And then in the 12th, David Ortiz walked it off to keep the series and the faith of Red Sox Nation alive. Tito's club had found a way. Or maybe it was all about a new pregame routine behind the scenes. He believed in, in uh, Metamucil um, as a, you know, to, to help his, <laughs> his digestion. Well, I do Metamucil every day. We were down three nothing. I was like, we got nothing to lose. Tito, I'm gonna start drinking Metamucil with you. Let's do this. Like, there's gotta be, you know, you, you've had so much success. There's gotta be some magic powers to the Metamucil. So <laughs> drank one with him. It was even more disgusting than I imagined. For a guy that smart, he was, he was gonna do the same thing every day. Then when we won game four, you know, it had to be a nightly thing, so yeah, I started drinking Metamucil shots with him before every game. He might have weighed 90 pounds by the time the season was over. 